So I recently from Amazon received this Oban car window mount and it is the CWM01. I thought it might be interesting to compare it to the Manfrotto 3292. Now they've replaced that with what they call the 243, which looks exactly the same. Uh, but they call it their car window pod. Does the same thing. And I've had this for some time. So as I said, they both do the same thing. They've got a couple different uh, ways of going about it. But what you would do is you'd put a ball head or any other type of uh, tripod head onto the standard 3816 three, threaded studs. And then your camera would attach to the uh, tripod head that you'd put on here. And now you can attach this to the window of your vehicle. And you would have a stable platform in which to take pictures from if you were doing it again out of your car window. And you could also put this on another surface, be it a car, you know, the car window or a flat piece, a flat piece of material. Because this will anchor onto anything. Could be a piece of plywood, uh, some anything that would be flat that these would screw onto. So let's look at the first thing, the 3816 studs, you can see that the Oban has a much longer stud in there than the um, Manfrotto. The Manfrotto is brass, the Oban is just a metal, it's not stainless, it's, it's magnetic. And to attach the head of a tripod, here you can see the Manfrotto requires a wide blade flat screwdriver whereas the interesting thing about the Oban is it's permanently attached somehow and all you've got to do is just screw the head on and you're good to go. I kind of like that. I like that a lot better because when you're putting the head on here, you like I said, you've got to get a wide blade screwdriver, slotted screwdriver in there to tighten that down. I'd much rather have a stud that is like this, that is permanent and anchored in there. And what I'm assuming is you've got this piece of... Uh, uh, silicone rubberized material here I think if that were to be pulled off you'd see that it's anchored in the back you'd see that in the center there that stud is anchored through this through that material there but they've got this uh, rubberized stock there so that you don't see it but again just from a standpoint I like this a lot better next we'll take a look at the clamping knob this one uses this large knob that you see here. Your Manfrotto uses a smaller one. And it works fine, but again, I like this better. I like th this is much nicer. So um just just a little, as far as I'm concerned, easier to do. Not that this is hard. You're not going to be clamping this um, that tight. So it's somewhat immaterial. But if I was going to pick my favorite, it would be the Oban. Next, we'll take a look at the pad that goes up against the window. Now, this is the Oban. And it uses a rectangular pad that you see in there. Whereas the Manfrotto uses a round pad. And either one is fine. As far as that's concerned, they both work just as well. Let's take a look at the material that they're using that would go up against your car window. 
Now this, I don't know what it is. It's nice and somewhat, I don't want to use the word tacky, but it's got a nice friction to it. You can see the surface there, but it's got a nice, almost like a silicone feel, but I'm not sure if it's that or a rubber, but it's got a nice, a nice uh, feel to it. And it has it on three surfaces, the front surface, the movable pad surface, and you'll note, as I stated earlier, it's got it on the, the side that would actually go down onto the window. You can see it there. So one, two, three surfaces on the Oban. Now the Manfrotto has just two surfaces. So, and it's got, it's more of a, it's textured, it's more of a hard surface. It's not as what I would call, like I said, the Oban felt tacky, like, like, um, not, not sticky, but just had, had a nice friction to it. Uh, and then, but this doesn't. This is more of a firm. Again, I've used this. I've never had a problem. And on the bottom side that would go on the window, obviously there's nothing here. You've got to get in there to, with the screwdriver to tighten that up. So this has two surfaces. The front and then the movable plate. Here's the Manfrotto with the clamp all the way out to see what the capacity. And you, here you see the open and it has a wider jaw capacity. Now if we take note, they also have lockdown screws. You can see here, you've got one, two on the open here close to this 3816 stud. On the Manfrotto, you've got two, and they're further apart. Now with a small ball head, those will not work. They're too far apart, because I use small ball heads. So if I wanted to tighten them down, it will not work on the Manfrotto. It will on the Oban. And speaking of those lockdown uh, bolts, the Oban, has allen head set screws that they use and they actually do give you an allen head uh, or an allen wrench with with this but i elect to use my um uh bondus i like my bondus better so i'm using my bondus allen wrench now on the open for some reason if you were to lose that set screw it is an M6 by 1.0 pitch. The Manfrotto, on the other hand, uses a slotted screw in which you have to use a screwdriver. like this and I gotta tell you if I ever had the opportunity where I had a ball head that was big enough I would definitely change this to the Allen head uh, socket uh, cap screws much easier to use and interestingly enough the Manfrotto uses the exact same thread an M6 by 1.0 pitch. So when it comes down to the uh, locking uh, screws, I much prefer the Oban over the Manfrotto because of the fact that it ships with the um, socket head cap screws. They're closer together, so with a smaller ball head and I'm just not a big fan of the slotted. I'd, uh, I, I think you can get a much better uh, grip when you're using an Allen head uh, wrench to tighten those down. But that's just my preference. Now with the Manfrotto and a smaller ball head, those lockdown 
bolts won't work. Now with the open on the other hand, you'll see those two lockdown bolts. They will easily fit the diameter of a small ball head so that you could lock it down. Plus, I love the simplicity and ease at which all you've got to do is turn the ball head down. That stud doesn't turn like the uh, Manfrotto. Tighten it down like that. Tighten down your two, your two locking bolts there with an Allen head, and you're done. I think this is a much simpler design. Works great. And as I had stated earlier in the video, they do give you an Allen wrench. But I just prefer to use my uh, Bondus. Now that is a 3 millimeter, 3 millimeter Allen wrench. So once you have that uh, ball head tightened down onto the surface there, just a matter of getting your Allen wrench in there. Tightening it down. So much simpler to use an Allen wrench than a screwdriver, I feel. Because then you got to get the proper blade. It might not be wide enough and uh, or fat enough to properly grip the head of the uh, bolt. But with an Allen wrench, all you need is the proper Allen wrench. It always fits. There you go. It's on there. It's locked on there. And here's some information on the Oban that's on the box. So you may ask, which one do I prefer? Well, I'll tell you what. I've had that Manfrotto for quite some time. Don't know what I paid for it. Currently on Amazon, it sells for $38.88. $38.88, and they're calling it the 243, which they say replaces the 3292. But when I look online, everything looks the same as this, other than a sticker change. The uh, Oban that I just bought, off Amazon was $24.95. Now, I like the Oban much better. Let's say the price of the Oban was $38.88 and the Manfrotto was $24.95. I'd still take the Oban. Even if this cost more, I would still buy this. I like this design much better. And I just wanted to buy an extra one and I wasn't really shopping price, but when I happened to see the open, it looked somewhat the open. It looks somewhat interesting, so I thought, let me give that a chance and and see see if I like it. It was cheap enough. If I didn't like it, oh well. But uh, like I said, the open, in my opinion, is uh, superior to the Manfrotto. Now the Manfrotto works. Don't get me wrong; it does its job. I'm going to keep it, but my go-to will be the open.